Hello, Bitwig certified end user and professional DJ, Vic Vapor with you, and welcome to my Bitwig Studio 2.3 course. Before we get started, I just want to say if it's the first time you're visiting the Martini Lounge channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and we'll see you inside. Welcome back. So we talked about writing notes and creating a little drum pattern and getting it all set up. But what if we want to do this using either the computer keyboard to activate the sounds and record them in live, or in this case, my Ableton Push 2 that I have right here in front of me set up and ready to go. So one of the ways we can do that is I'm going to, if you remember from previous video, I'm going to duplicate I'm um, duplicate this clip over to uh, the next area. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to hit my duplicate button. Now I've got uh, a brand new clip duplicated the same way. And it's already containing our previous uh, drum and clap pattern. But what I want to do is I want to add a hi-hat pattern. So let me see if I can, I got to, uh, yeah. Um, let me hit stop here. Got to find it, don't know where it's at. It's more like a ride. I'll just do, for the sake of the video, I'll just do that one. So I've located it and I want to record it in instead of using my um, pointer or pen tool. So in order for me to record that in, in real time, I need to, currently it's not up here, but I need to use overdub. So the way that we can add overdub to our toolbar is go, if you remember from previous videos, go to play and then we go down here and you see overdub, but it doesn't have a pin mark. So we need to pin that up here to our toolbar. So overdub, pin, now I can get out of this uh, menu. And now you see OVR with a square around it, which allows me to overdub now uh, within the recording. So what I wanna do is I wanna launch this, hit the overdub button, and now it's just waiting for me to begin to enter my pattern. And I'll stop it right there. And let's say, you know what, I don't really like that one. So I'm just going to highlight everything and hit delete. So it really wasn't what I wanted. There's a couple different ways you can delete things, but that's just the way I chose right there. So let's try again. So we'll hit uh, play and overdub. Yeah, I guess that's the only one we have in this kit. Just real quick look there to see if I had anything else. And another thing it's important to notice is when I was in here and we selected overdub, there's some record quantization options that are set down here. Mine is currently off. And you notice when I did that recording, I did that on purpose to show you that it's only going to be on beat if you're like, a super finger drummer and you can do that. I don't have those skills. I mean, I have a good ear for that, but I just don't have those skills. So what I want to do this time is come down here to record quantization and I want to select 16 because that's kind of where I wanted things before. And it's on 32nd. So let me just go to 32nd and see if that'll work for us. But now it'll, it'll actually snap to the grid as I play in on the overdub. So let's see if that works the way I want it to. I'll hit play in this clip. I'll hit the overdub. And now it's waiting for me to go ahead and put my pattern in. And 
and you can see I hit the space bar to stop there, and you can see now everything's quantized that we just recorded in. The pattern sounds a little bit more fluid, a little bit, you know, more grouped or more congruent to the whole overall layout. So, you know, it probably needs a little bit, a little bit of adjustment. I just wanted you guys to get the idea how to record stuff in live. So, and you can use your computer keyboard or whatever MIDI controller you have. It doesn't have to be able to push to. That's just what I have currently available to us. So let's go ahead and move on to the uh, next video.